Hey everyone, welcome back to DIY Chris. In today's episode, we are going to basically go over how to install uh, OpenCBM for the Mac. So, there are a couple of things that we need to do first in order to do that. And one of those is we need to make sure that our Mac has Homebrew installed. So, the first thing you'll do is, and, and this is how I do it, is I, I press Command Spacebar and then I just start to type the name of the application that I want to open. In this case, we're going to open Terminal because we're going to run some commands in there. And uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is install Homebrew, right? So if you already have Homebrew installed, you can skip over this part. But if you don't, then all you really need to do is you need to type in bin bash dash c quote dollar sign open parenthesis curl dash f s s l and these are case sensitive uh, commands uh, https colon slash slash raw dot github user content dot com slash homebrew install master install dot sh close parentheses and quote so when we press enter here, uh, it's going to tell us that uh, you know it's going to create some directories, which are these actually. Let's see here, the script will install brew homebrew brew brew, and this is basically telling you where it's installing all this, and it's going to create all of these directories, and then after that, it's going to install the Xcode command line tools. So we're going to go ahead and press return to start that process. It's going to prompt you for your password. And we just wait for that to finish. So I'm going to fast forward through that part for you. All right, here we are. So Homebrew is installed. So the next thing that we need to do is um, I don't know if OpenCBM will actually install the um, the lib USB library that we need for the communicating between the XU1541 device. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's skip that and and see if it does it. So we'll uh, go ahead and install OpenCBM uh, via Homebrew, and that's simple. We just type in brew install open CBM and for for those of you who don't know what homebrew is it's it's literally a, uh, a package manager for for Mac so kind of like how you have uh, apt-get and um, yum and all those other uh, package managers for Linux to install applications um, you have brew for Mac okay so it looks like it did install that lib USB that we need and um, so we should have access to the uh, to all the commands now. So if we try to run um, just uh, cvm uh, c a c t r l detect. Um, so so here's the uh, the part that you're going to have to configure though, um, because you'll notice how I just typed cvm c r t l detect, and uh, it gave us an error saying that no xum fifteen forty one devices found. So you know, that's going to be an issue because uh, if you guys are using the XU1541, uh, which is the uh, the device that I sell, then you're not going to be able to use this XUM1541, which is a default in the config. So what we'll need to do is just edit that configuration file. And I'll show you guys how to do that really quick. We'll use um, the nano editor. So we'll do nano space slash user slash local slash seller. OpenCBM, oops, good spell, OpenCBM, uh, then the version, and etc. OpenCBM.conf. So when we open that, you'll see that we've got uh, the plugins set for um, default equals XUM1541. So all we need to do is uh, delete that M out and we'll set our default to XU1541. Alright, and then these right here are just the locations of the um, applications 
the, or the plugins, yeah, uh, for the different ones. They have the XU1541 and the XUM1541. So we're gonna exit this, uh, we're gonna set yes to save, and then we're gonna press enter to use the same file name. And um, let's see what's next. Uh, now, if we issue that same command again, CBM CTRL detect, you'll see now that uh, we have an error, no XU1541 device is found. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug mine in. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work. I haven't tried this yet because I'm running this all on, on a VMware. All right, so I just plugged that in. Okay, so it's asking me if I wanna to connect to Mac or to my VM. So I'm gonna connect that to the VM. And it should be connected to the VM, so we should just be able to issue that same command again, CVM CTRL detect. All right, so now we get nothing, and that's because we have no drive connected. If we would have had a drive connected to this, then it would have came back with, uh, you know, the actual ID of the drive. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and connect a, a drive just to kind of see what it does. All right, so hang on. Okay. And you can plug that drive into either one of those, um, either one of the ports on the XU1541. Uh, they're just pass through, so you can connect more than one uh, device. So I'm going to turn this drive on. All right, so now if we run CBM CTRL detect again, it tells us that uh, we have a drive, a 1571 connected to uh, ID8, right? That's what our drive is set to. So now uh, we could, uh, I have a disk in here, do I? Yes. All right, so we can run CBM CTRL dir8. Basically what we're doing is we're doing a directory listing on of the drive on ID8. Okay, so that's basically showing us what's on that disk right now. Pretty cool, huh? So yeah, for the, the rest of the uh, the OpenCBM commands, um, I'm gonna put a link down to the OpenCBM um, page where you can find the manual that shows you all the commands that you can run. So there are different ways that you can copy disk images back and forth. You can copy a disk image from the drive to the computer to create an image that you can then you know run in an emulator, or you can take a uh, an image that was already created or from another disk and you can transfer it to a disk in the in the drive. So that's what you know this really is all for. All right, so that pretty much covers uh, the tutorial. Uh, we just quickly went over how to install Homebrew and how to install OpenCBM after that, and uh, then connecting the XU1541 and getting a directory listing from a drive. So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments down below. Don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up or a like if you liked the video. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys next time.